Stormy weather could be to blame for a fire that destroyed a small town business. It happened at a Hartford City bowling alley. Investigators are still trying to figure out what the cause is, but say they haven't ruled out lightning. I could at least see it at least a quarter mile away. Flames shot through the roof of Northside Lanes as firefighters pulled up around 10 o'clock Wednesday night. Crews battled six hours into the night to control the blaze, but daylight delivered this devastating scene. Smoke rolled over the rubble as winds kicked up small flames. Bowling balls on racks, ball return machines, and charred lanes serve as a few reminders of what this building once was. This is going to affect the high school kids along with league bowlers, and he had a really nice restaurant also here. Visiting Northside Lanes for the first time since the fire started, the owners say they are just shocked by how quickly their once lively bowling alley turned into a pile of smoldering rubble. The fire started just a half hour after employees locked up for the night. I can't imagine him, for him to know everything that's in there and inventory everything. That's got to be hard. Stacy Bischoff used to run Northside with its current owner. My stomach's just in knots. I just can't imagine. Looking at it is just tears my heart apart. Fire officials ruled the bowling alley and its restaurant and lounge a total loss. But as Bischoff says, it's also a loss for the community. There's really nothing in Hartford City for these people to do. I mean, there's no other entertainment. There's not even a movie center or anything here for them. Investigators say the fire at a facility known for spares and strikes could be to blame on an altogether different kind of strike. There was lightning in the area. We knew that. that. The owners of Northside Lane said they were too emotional to speak on camera today. They did tell me they hope to rebuild the center one day. And